Mr. Franklin is going to church this Sunday morning again without his family. Whoa. I thought he was a responsible young man who loved his wife. Now, I know he is not. I pity his wife. Last week Sunday, he told me his car has some fault issue. His family will take a cab to church. He does not want to carry anyone in the car until it is fixed. I insisted, he gave me a ride to church. Why today again? I have my doubts. Is it that the car is still faulty or Mr. Franklin and his wife are having marriage issues? Anyway, it's none of my business. I will simply stop him. Enter his car and follow him to church. Good morning, Mr. Franklin. I would like to join you to church today. Oh, Mrs. Melissa, I was unable to fix the car all throughout last week. Please can you take a cab? Mr. Franklin, I don't want to be late for church. Kindly give me a ride. All right. Come and let's go. Sister Melissa, you are early to church today. Congratulations, keep it up. That's because I came with Mr. Franklin. He gave me a ride in his car. That's so nice of him. What is so nice about him? Riding me in his smoking car? That he failed to fix. I regret taking a ride with him in his car. Now, how do I get rid of his exhaust smoke from my pretty dress? Gush. Mr. Franklin is just a stingy young man, who is irresponsible to replace his radiator hoses and engine block. I perceive no smoke on your dress. I can smell your perfume even a mile away. You smell great Mrs. Melissa. That's a great perfume you are wearing. That's because I wear rich perfume. Thanks Sister Amara. I think Mr. Franklin and his wife are both having issues. If not why will him come to church alone without his family? But you just told me the car had issues. Stop imagining what you think not. If you say so. I'm still suspicious something is wrong. Church service is about to start. You can just please this woman. She just wants to remain a babe in Christ. Gush. Few hours later. Sister Deborah how can you give this little amount of money for the women's program? What will this do in the house of God? I'm very sorry ma. This is what I can give for the now. I don't even have any money with me to spend this new week. I just believe God Almighty will supply all my needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. What kind of poor member is this? She does not always have money. God, please give me new members. Members that are rich. That will make the work of the ministry easy for me. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
she doesn't give me the proper respect I deserve. She will pass by me without saying hi Sister Melissa, or good morning Sister Melissa. Do you know who I am? I'm one of the member that started this church. When did you join the ministry? That you feel, you are too big to respect me. Pastor I always greet her. But she doesn't respond back to my greetings. I don't know why. Mrs. Melissa, please forgive me, if I have offended you in any way. Sister Melissa, I apologize on her behalf too. Please do forgive her. No problem apology is accepted. Pastor I have a complaint to make. What it is? I don't like the fact that Sister Joy was visited more than me. Yes, both of us put to birth at the same time. But I feel she was given more preference than me. She also got more gifts more than me. Sister Melissa, I have observed you have an attitude that is not godly. Why is it that, you cannot be pleased? No matter what they do for you, you just can't be pleased. Is an evil desire you have, when you demand more from people. Until they please you. This is a sickness that you have. I advise you get rid of it from your heart. You want the church to get enslaved to you. When we do, we are in trouble. You want us to favor you alone and not favor Sister Joy. You always want us to carry the burden of pleasing you, yet you are unpleasable. If we keep pleasing you, your attitude will not allow us to much with God, because you want the church to please you first. Repent of your attitude. Pastor I did nothing wrong. Sister Melissa, you have my number and you called me when you were on your way to the hospital. I prayed for you. But, for Sister Joy she does not have my phone number to call me. That she was on her way to the hospital. I also came to the hospital after you put to birth. I gave your baby, special gift. As for Sister Joy I did not call her, I did not visit her. I did not give her baby any gifts. The brethren came to visit you and your baby with gifts. And they also visited Sister Joy and her baby with gift too. What else do you want Sister Melissa? One year later. My wife you look beautiful and I'm glad the hair look good on you. I would have really loved the hair if the color was red. I don't have any red wig. Darling, just say thank you my husband I love the hair. Then you make your requests, honey if you are going to buy me another wig. This time it should be a red color wig. For once, learn to be pleased with what they do for you. Okay. Thank you my husband. Darling what do you think about the restaurant? I hope you like the place. Well the restaurant looks okay. But, I don't like the wall colors. They should have done better. Anyway, as for their service, I will watch to see. If their server will be attentive without being intrusive and will work seamlessly to give us a beautiful dining experience. Then I will know what good things to say about this restaurant. Darling they offer the best service. You will love this place. Why the delay? When will the waiter bring our food? Is it after midnight? Darling relax, she will be here soon. You know there's a better way for you to tell the waiter you don't like the food. Instead of you being rude to her, saying the food tastes bland. Off, old, funky. You just don't like the waiter. But she is nice and friendly. Just give them 20 minutes your new order will be brought to the table. She is too nosy. I hope they impressed me. Madam, here is your new order. Enjoy your meal. How dare you screw up my order. I requested for rice and you are serving me macaroni. I'm very sorry madam. I heard you. You ask for macaroni, anyway, please give me five minutes, I will serve you the rice immediately. How you saying I'm lying? You are an incompetent staff. If I'm the owner of this restaurant, you would have long been fired. You think you have a job. You are a nobody. Shoo shoo out from my sight and get me my food. Darling that's not nice. How could you be so rude to her because she is a waiter? Honey she served me the wrong food. But I heard you said macaroni. How you trying to be on her side? Instead of your wife. 
is okay. Honey let's talk about our baby girl one year birthday party. I want a princess party theme for our baby girl, first birthday. I want to create a whimsical and enchanting celebration. It will be out of this world. Here is my financial budget for her birthday celebration. Darling can we go for a party on a budget? A very small, simple party. With few of our close friends and family. I already have huge financial debts to pay. I need to pay back all the loans I took from the bank to buy you an expensive brand new car. I don't want to spend any more money gain. Honey with three months of your salary. Our daughter will have her dream party. Our daughter or your dream party. The car I bought for you. I did not pay five months of my tithe. Now you want to do it again. Giving me a budget that I will not still pay three months of my tithe. Darling, do you know we are robbing God by not paying our tithe? I can't continue on this path, just to please you. Honey please just this once. Do it for me. Is already. Cheers. Cheers my love. Mrs. Fumi, what's happening in your house? My eyes had been seeing beautiful things happening in your house. Did your husband Mr. Franklin want to make a million jackpot? Look at you, looking all stunning and gorgeous. I envy you sister in Christ. <laughs> God is faithful, my sister. They that put their trust in God will only see good things happening in their life. Our life is like that of the story of Joseph, who was taken from prison to palace. My husband had been struggling in his profession as a civil engineer. Miraculously he got a contract deal. In those difficult times, we were faithful in the giving of our tithe and offerings. Also, I and my husband were living within our means as a family. God Almighty, brought one customer, that changed my husband business. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 2 says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing, then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. Sister Melissa, through that one customer, my husband now had major building projects for government, company, different firms, wealthy individuals. He is in charge of the entire design to the completion process for the buildings, roads, dams, bridges, water systems contract that he got. Congratulations Sister Fumi. Is this your new car? Oh yes. This is my brand new car. And I'm grateful to God for this gift. Double congratulations Sister Fumi. Your life is just skyrocketing. Do you know this is exactly the latest model I need, a Lexus car. Which I told my husband to buy for me. But he went ahead to buy me another model of car. I was so pissed off. I just don't like my car. Especially, the color of the car is not just my taste. I will only use it for six months and ask my husband to buy me exactly this Lexus model. He has no choice than to do it for me. Sister Melissa, learn to be grateful and to appreciate all that your husband do for you. Some people don't have what you have, yet they are grateful for the little their husband do for them. If your husband cannot please you, who will be able to please you? This character of yours is very bad. Add virtues to your life. You know that's how I am. My goodness, this girl had burnt my soup. Look at her sleeping. Gabriel. Gabriel. You better wake up from that sleep. So this is what you do. When you are cooking, you will be sleeping. Gabriel, you are still sleeping. What kind of a maid is this? Do you want to burn down my house? You are a lazy maid. You can't do nothing right. Perfect and excellent. Without me complaining. I have had enough of you in my house. Gush. My child is sleeping in the room. You want to burn her down. Your evil plans had failed. This minute you will leave my house. 
go inside your room, pack your belongings and leave. You are fired. Madam I am sorry. It will not happen again. I was so tired. I have not slept for two days now, after the birthday party. I didn't know when I doze off. Oh you want to claim you have been busy working. That's why you want to burn down my husband house. Look at everywhere, not properly well clean. You don't focus on the cleaning task, I ask you to do. You are careless with my belongings. You literally broke a glass of wine, yesterday, why washing the dishes? My kitchen supplies are not properly well organized. Because you don't follow my instructions. I told you, you must finish all your task each day. But you skip some task, and bring it forward to the next day. Who does that? I am the boss in this house. Therefore, you will leave my house. I need someone who will give me a good cleaning satisfaction that I want. Because your job has not impressed me. Get your things Gabrielle and leave my house. Madam please forgive me. I will do better. I promise. Please don't fire me. I don't have anywhere else to go. You know I am any orphan. My uncle will not be happy if you send me back to him. You are the family I don't have. Oh Lord Jesus please help me. Madam please forgive me. It will not happen again. I am not moved by those tears of yours. I say get out and leave my house. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
for the past eight months. I have not paid my tithe. Because she insists I put everything together so the money will be enough for the car and the birthday party. I have to give her anything she wants just to please her. Yet she is not pleased. Every weekend, we have dinner in the best restaurant in the city. I just keep spending. Not saving any money. And I'm in so much debt. This is terrible. What if you have lost your job today and was locked up in prison? Tell me Mr. Chris, how will you please her? When you are in prison? The wisdom of God makes us wise, and not to be foolish. God didn't tell you to love your wife and not pay your tithe. The devourer almost devour your job. What do you expect people to say about you as a Christian, who stole money from the company account? Is that a good remark to the name of Jesus? No sir. Don't you know there are some people you cannot please? Even if you empty your bank account for them, they will never be pleased. Mr. Chris you have one month to do the right things. Also the tithe you are owning God. Because the tithe belongs to God. The loan you are owning the bank. If you don't stand and live by the principles of God's word, then your wife will lead you astray. Now, tell me Mr. Chris, how have you helped her to be rooted in Christ? Your wife is not the problem, but you. I'm so disappointed at you. You know the right things to do. Do it and fix your mess. Bye. Welcome sir. Gabriel what are you doing outside at this time of the night? Madden drove me out from the house. She fired me because I burnt the soup. I'm so sorry sir, I did meant for it to happen. I doze off. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I fired her and my husband insists she must stay. Darling you have a problem, you need to deal with, nobody can please you. This is not a good virtual Christian should possess. You need to get rid of it. You have to go back to your husband house. Mother, I am going nowhere, not until my husband sent her out of the house. How you been serious? So who did you leave your daughter with? My husband of course. First thing tomorrow morning, you will see him here with our daughter. He loves me. He always do everything I want. You think everything is about you. Have you eaten? No mother. I'm hungry. Because of Gabrielle I did not have a lovely dinner with my husband tonight. And I was planning to tell him tonight, I need a customized gold necklace bearing our names. One for our daughter Debbie. One for my husband Chris and one for me Melissa. But, Gabrielle has ruined everything for me. Can't you see mother, she is a problem in my home. Mother, the food is not hot enough and chicken is not well fried. You know I like fried chicken vegetable sauce. Melissa this is my house. And you will not complain. But you will appreciate whatsoever I offer you as food to eat, before you go back to your husband house. If you don't like the food, you might as well sleep with an empty tummy. Mother. I'm going to bed. Suit yourself. I'm going to enjoy the meal all by myself. One month later. Melissa my daughter, do you know it is more than one month now, and your husband had not show up to take you back home? Mother, I'm surprised myself. He wasn't like this before. He does everything for me. He did not care. He just left me here, like I never exist. My child you need to go back to your husband. Or else you don't want your marriage again. What God has joined together, I don't want to put asunder. Go and be submissive to your husband. Go and add this virtues to your life. Appreciate whatsoever everyone do for you. No matter how little or big. Give good compliment. Say thank you and do not complain. The Holy Spirit is your helper if you open your heart to change. Mother please, when I get home I'm not going to take it easy with him. For keeping me here for one month. I hope Gabrielle is gone for good. Good morning ma. Welcome home. Is that you Gabrielle? You look different. You look beautiful. What's going on here? Where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Your husband and your daughter went down the road. They will be back soon. Who owns those books on my living table? They are mine. How? I have started school. What did you say? Going to school in my house. What happened to your maid job in this house? My husband had a lot of answers to give to me. I just left the house for just one month, and my husband had turned everything all around. He better be here quick. He had an explanation to give to me. Gabrielle going to school in my house. I can't believe this. Darling welcome home. I miss you. What's happening here? Why is Gabrielle looking different and well dressed, and she now goes to school? Darling. I am so surprised you never told me Gabrielle is just 15 years old. You turned a teen to our maid. That was not nice. Anyway, I have gone to see his uncle, the man who took her to the orphanage home, when she lost her both parents in an accident. He has given me the approval to adopt her as our child. My lawyer is doing all the paperwork. Darling you now have two daughters. Gabrielle and Debbie. Gabrielle say hi to your mummy and give her a hug. Hi mother. What's the meaning of all this? I don't understand. By the way, I did not see my car outside the car pack. 
That was exactly what I wanted to discuss with you one month ago. Darling, I almost got fired. Thanks to Mr. Dave my job was saved. I realized I was not helping you to get out of your weak attitude. Rather, I kept pleasing you. I decided to make things right. I sold your car, I sold my car and all our gold jewelry and other valuable things that we have, to pay all my tithe, put the money back, I took from the company account. I have also paid all the loans in the bank. Darling, I know all this are new to you. But you will learn how to be grateful. Because you have the spirit of God in you. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee